In the previous lesson, we've explained how relative interest rates as well as speculative activity can affect the value of a currency. Now, these two factors are essential in explaining exchange rate movements in the short run, but over the long term, there are other more important factors. In this lesson, we'll explain what these factors are. The first factor is relative price levels of similar goods and services between countries. Now, to illustrate this, let's look at a situation between two countries, Canada and the United States. We start with the premise that prices are rising faster in Canada compared to the US. From a Canadian's perspective, this, mean it, this means it will be relatively cheaper for him to buy imported goods from the US rather than purchasing domestic goods. Now, assuming the demand for US exports is price elastic, this leads to an increase in the import expenditure on US goods, which increases the, the demand for US dollars. In order to purchase these US imports, Canadians have to sell off their currency in the forex market in exchange for US dollars, which causes an increase in the supply of Canadian dollars as well. The result is that the Canadian dollar depreciates against the US dollar. Now, let's look at things from the Americans' perspective. Now, since prices are rising faster in Canada, this means that Canada's exports are relatively more expensive in the United States. Assuming demand for Canada's export, once again, is price elastic, this means that this will lead to a more than proportionate fall in quantity demanded of Canada's exports. Now, hence, the total export revenue of Canada will fall, causing the total demand for Canadian dollars to fall. Once again, the Canadian dollar depreciates against the US. Another factor that affects exchange rate in the long run is relative rates of productivity growth. Let's say Japan's productivity increases relative to the US in the long run. This means its average cost of production falls, causing the price of its products to fall. The rest of the explanation is basically the same as what we've already explained, and the result is that the yen appreciates against the US dollar. Now, other than price, another factor that affects the demand for a good, and service, for a good or service is preference. Now, if people are suddenly enamored with everything that comes out of Japan, then regardless of the relative price levels of the goods it produces, when demand of it for its products increase, correspondingly, the demand for its currency will also rise, leading to an appreciation in the exchange rate. 